Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I'm using my Mystical Cats Tarot. So I'll show you the box. It's by Lunea Weatherstone and art by Mickey Mueller. All right. So I've had this deck for years and I only just started looking at the guidebook that came with it and it's so cute. I think I'm actually going to take some time this weekend to, to read through it because it's really good. All right, so I'm drawing three cards here with the intention that these cards are going to give us some new ideas and insight and inspiration for the week ahead. So the first card that I'm going to start with represents Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Oops. Okay, so the first card is Fire King. So this is King of Wands in, in a Rider weight deck. I just have to get this card situated here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have Fire King. So we're starting off the week on a really intense and an intense and powerful note. So the Fire King, or the, the King of Wands, is a self-starter he knows how to inspire himself. He doesn't really rely on anyone or anything to light his fire. He knows how to inspire himself and motivate himself. He's a self-motivated character. Now the Fire King is very good at being assertive, also being really creative. He's really dynamic. He's also adventurous. He loves to travel. He has, he has this really strong creative and adventurous spirit. So whenever he shows up in a reading, I feel like this is an invitation for us to engage those sides of our personality that are similar to the, the King of Wands or the Fire King. Um, and I just love this cat. He looks so proud <laughs> and so regal and uh, so beautiful. So this can be an invitation to really kind of engage your creative side. Um, and even just like, and I don't know why I'm saying this because this isn't what I would normally associate this card with, but I think engaging your organizational skills, especially around like business and creativity, like really getting organized, making a plan, um, having kind of a map uh, of where you're wanting to go and how you're gonna get there. And um, he's very confident too. I think this week is a, is a good week to engage your confidence and, and really honor the things that light you up. So think about, you know, what kinds of things really light your fire? What is inspiring to you? What gets you revved up? What sparks your creativity? And how can you really take the time to honor those things this week? Let's move into the middle of the week and see what card we have. Ooh, the chariot. Okay, kind of a similar energy actually to, um, a really similar energy to the fire king and and there's even that glowing yellow kind of burst of light and heat behind him um on on both of these cards on both of the behind both of the cats on these cards so the chariot the chariot is about moving forward it's about finding success and just like when I was talking about the Fire King, I said, you know, now's the time to kind of have a map for yourself on, you know, what it is you're wanting to create, what you're wanting to do and how, you know, where you're wanting to go and how you're going to get there. And the chariot is all is kind of a continuation of that message. So the chariot, I think, acts as it's a message saying that you can do it. <laughs> you know, you can you can get from point A to point B, but you need to have some sort of a plan. 
And the chariot is about more than anything, it's about being in alignment, you know, having your, your goals, your energy, your thoughts, your, um, your feelings, your actions, all, you know, in alignment. And, uh, it's interesting cause I just did, uh, as part of my tarot deep dive series this week, I focused on the chariot and a message that that card, I always see in that card is in relation to on the Rider weight deck, it's two sphinxes, but here we've got two Dalmatians. And I see those two, um, the two Dalmatians are pulling the chariot forward. So the chariot asks you, you know, what is pulling you forward? What's motivating you this week? What, what are, what's the driving force that's, that's, um, motivating you and pulling you forward. All right, let's look at the card for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So here we have two of fire. So two of wands, in a Rider weight deck. Um, okay. The two of fire is about pausing to contemplate. So this cat here is pausing. He's looking out the door. It looks like he's waiting for something. He's kind of, he's probably contemplating, but it looks like he's expectant. Like he is waiting for something to show up. So the two of fire, it's an indication that this weekend is a good time to kind of pause. It may be the kind of weekend where there's not a lot going on. There's not a lot happening. So it's a good time to kind of pause and reflect and contemplate kind of, you know, what's important to you? Where would you like to go? It's interesting that this has come after the chariot. <laughs> I would kind of like to see it before the chariot because it would make more sense to me. But there's all this energy and, and actually all of these cards are really fiery. We have the fire king, we have the two of fire, we have the chariot. Um, the first two cards have this really bold, fiery energy. And there is a sense of really getting your shit together getting a sense of, you know, where it is you want to go, having the confidence to do that. And that is key is being able to really believe in yourself and, and have that kind of confidence and, and figure out where it is you're wanting to go, kind of making a plan. That's what I get for the, the beginning of the week. And it feels like this is a good week to be goal oriented. You know, there's some, some weeks, some, some months even where it's like, you know, just put the goals aside, focus on going inward and reflecting or resting or whatever. But this week it's like, let's be goal oriented this week. Uh, let's make a plan and, and let's take action on moving forward. But then we get to the weekend and it's saying, you know, even if you're in that like goal oriented action moving forward kind of mode, you still have to take time here and there to pause and contemplate before taking the next step. So you have all this energy, but you also want to like check in with yourself and be like, okay, I've come so far, <laughs> you know, where do I want to go? What's, what's important to me? You know, what do I need, uh, for the next chapter, the next, the next journey? Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and look at all of these cards together, and I'm just going to look and see if there's anything else I wanted to, to mention. And I'm noticing a theme here. So with the chariot, we have the two Dalmatians pulling the chariot. And then the two of fire, we have the two candles. And those two candles are just there. They're, they're providing light. Um, and I see the candle and that light as being a symbol of consciousness and awareness and, you know, shedding a light on something. I also get the sense looking at the two of fire. So that's this card here, the last one. It's like this little kitty has the doors open, the candles are burning, and it's almost like the cat is waiting for something to return and, and it's providing a welcoming space. It's like, here's the light, the door is open, I'm waiting. It's like you're waiting for something. So one question to ask yourself on the weekend is like, what am I waiting for? Am I waiting for the right person to show up? Am I waiting for inspiration? 
Am I waiting for a sign that the timing is right? Because I get this sense that you're sort of waiting for something to happen, waiting for some kind of sign or symbol to come your way. So asking yourself what that is. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to mention. And feel free to chime in here. You can leave me a comment in the comment section below. Um, feel free to chime in You know what your take on these cards are, what messages you get from these cards, and what what symbols really jump out to you? Because for me, it's all about the fire in the background, the light, the candles. That's the main thing that's that's really standing out to me. But you might look at this and think, oh no, it's the, um, the flowers that are really standing up or the pedestal that he's on or, you know, the, the hill in the background or the doors, the open doors or something like that. Like we all... Uh, focus in on different different aspects of the cards and different symbols. So just noticing what you what draws you in, what you're paying attention to. Um, yeah, I think I've said it all. I feel it feels like a, a powerful week, an exciting week, um, but an important week to kind of really get our shit together and make a plan and 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 get a sense of where we're going. Um, so I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I post these videos every week. And check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. I've got tons of fun tarot learning resources on there for you to explore along your tarot reading journey. So I hope you have a wonderful week.